Noel, that's you. That's you. <laughs> that's you, buddy. Where did that come from? You were just sitting here all morning and you just saw the mirror. Well, today is the day. What do you think? She's like, I don't know what to think. <laughs> we are waiting for the boat. I uh, I don't know if we're gonna make this one. We're like in the second to last lane, second to third last lane, Th third last lane. <laughs> It'd be really sweet if we could because that's kind of what I was planning on this whole time. But I, obviously I was packing up the car this morning. Everything was just a little bit behind schedule. I woke up at like seven o'clock which is what I planned. I had to completely rearrange everything that I packed in the car because I had packed up all the boxes and then I was like, oh no, I forgot to put Noelle's crate in here. And not only is it necessary, but it's like really awkward. And so I had to repack everything and put the crate in and then put all the boxes back in and then like do like a walk through the house, get some coffee. It was just extremely, not stressful, it wasn't, I'm not saying it was stressful, but it was kind of like I had to like run around and do like lots of things very quickly. She's watching the, the newspaper guy again. She's like, what is he doing? <laughs> Hopefully I didn't forget anything. If I did, it's probably not important. Pretty much everything that is important to me is in this car right now. Yeah, not right, especially you, huh? Especially you. Oh, hugs. Oh God, I don't know, it's gonna be pretty tight. Oh no, please let me on. Oh, 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 she's waving us. Oh, please, please. Oh, stop. Oh no. <laughs> There's nothing worse than not making the boat by like a car. They closed the gate, so we didn't make this boat. I guess I'll just take the next one. I guess I'll do my makeup. That, that'll be fun. <laughs> I just gave Noelle a little treat. I have a bag of doggy treats up here with me. If you guys are looking for like good dog treats, I don't, I mean like every dog has its own personality and taste and everything, but these are the ones that she loves. She's like, oh my goodness, can I have some more please? Yeah, so I think I'm gonna take I-90 over, I think around Yakima, I have to look at my map again, but you have to like cut down, go through the corner of Oregon a little bit. So that's the plan, staying in Boise tonight. All of our stuff all packed up, that's Noelle's food thing. Those are the studio lights that I never used once back home because I was like, oh, I'm gonna film so many videos for my main channel, my lifestyle channel while I'm up there and like that did not happen at all. There's no space, there was no space, so I never got the chance. Suitcase and just boxes of stuff. Snacks for me, snacks for Noelle, water, lots of water. This this whole process is, has been kind of bittersweet because I really, like there's part of me that really did not want to go home. I didn't want to go home, I didn't want to leave my family, but at the same time, I'm really excited to go home. Like I'm excited to live, like sleep in my own bed, be in my own house and get back to normal and a little bit longer and I'm gonna be with Blake again and that's super exciting. And what I'm really excited about is tomorrow I'm going to Ikea because okay, there's no Ikea in Las Vegas. Like one just isn't in Las Vegas. The nearest one I think is in LA. We've never really had the chance to go out to buy things at Ikea. And we look online for like furniture and stuff at Ikea but it's like really expensive to ship. It just hasn't been worth it to like buy things and have them shipped. So I'm actually stopping at Ikea in, um, I think it's like just south of Salt Lake City. Finally gonna get some furniture for our house, which has been like furnitureless forever. It's like, it's like a grown up Disneyland. So I'm really excited to go to Ikea. Life is good. I'm just really happy. All right. Bye Seattle. You're beautiful. I love you. I'll see you soon. So. I think we are just east of the Snoqualmie Pass. There's a, a huge accident up here, and so I don't know how long I'm gonna be here. It's probably gonna be a little while. I don't know. Oh, I'm surrounded by semi-trucks. How you doing back there? You doing okay? You doing good? She's like, man, I hate this already. <laughs> Update. 
the cars are being turned off and people are getting things out of their trunk. We could definitely be here a while. We've been stopped dead for like 45 minutes now. This guy's fed up. He's like, God, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, this is what I'm stuck in right now. Hi, hey, little one. It's officially been an hour. The car is off. Noelle's chewing on her bone. It's snowing. Can you see these? Yeah. Good news, we're moving, finally, yay! How beautiful is this? It's like we're in a different state and we haven't even left yet. We just got over the mountains. This side of the mountains is a lot drier than on the western side, but I think it is just so gorgeous. So we're staying at just a little Motel 6 in Meridian, Idaho. It's actually kind of cute. I don't think I've been in this nice of a Motel 6 in a really long time. I'm gonna take a shower. I feel really gross. I always feel so nasty after road trips. Are oh, you gonna do that too, huh? <laughs> you gonna take a bath too? Some water. Go oh, wow. Okay, somebody was thirsty. We're snuggled. We're gonna go to bed. We will see you guys in the morning. Can you say good night? Good night. <laughs> somebody just does not want to get up this morning, huh? Oh, good morning, love bug. All right, we got a Starbucks break. It's breakfast time. I'm very, very tired. Noelle is so cute, but like she doesn't really understand the whole hotel dynamic. So people will like be going outside in the hallway and closing doors and stuff. And she's like, wah, 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 wah. except she doesn't bark that much. She's just more like perks up and like kind of half barks. It's kind of a restless night because she's just not used to the noises but this is definitely helping. One of the first drinks I ever got when I started drinking coffee was a vanilla latte, right? My mom was like, oh, it tastes like warm milk, especially if you get it with an extra pump of vanilla, and so I did that. And now it's like one of my go-to drinks. Vanilla latte with an extra pump of vanilla. So if you guys are in the, uh, in the work, or if you guys are looking for a new drink at Starbucks, try it out. It's pretty delicious. We're gonna get on the road. Today's plan is we're going to be driving to Ikea in uh, Utah. So it's like just south of Salt Lake City. It's Draper, Utah. Hopefully it's a smooth drive. Welcome to Ikea! So, I'm here with Susan, met up with Susan. This is Blake's mom, by the way. If you're new and haven't met her before, we met up in Salt Lake City to do Ikea shopping because her car is significantly larger than mine. So we're gonna put all this stuff that we buy into her car, and I'm really excited about it. Me and Blake are debating between two beds at this point. There's two beds that we really, really like. Not sure which one we're gonna go with. I like it, I like the oversized clock. How much is it? I don't know if I like it 50 bucks. Mm. Eh, eh, eh. That's pretty much what this whole thing has been like. Eh, do I like it enough to pay that much? Eh. Hey guys, you guys are actually down next to my speedometer right now. Normally I would hold the camera up and vlog, but right now uh, I'm going literally like 82 miles an hour and I really don't feel comfortable doing that going so fast. So yesterday I met up with 
with Blake's mom and we went shopping at, whew, it's windy. We went shopping at Ikea. Blake's mom, Susan, really wanted to be around for when Blake comes home and so she was up in Montana and she's like, how about I just meet you in Salt Lake City? And I was like, okay, that sounds perfect. So we met up in Salt Lake City. Well, it was just south of Salt Lake City, but like that area. And I told her that I was planning on going to Ikea to get some furniture. She offered to bring her Suburban down and you know, we can load up her car with all this stuff from Ikea. And so I was like, okay, that sounds awesome. We have a list, we're going through the showroom, we have a list of everything we want. We end up at the warehouse and we start pulling stuff off the shelves. We loaded up two carts full of furniture. So we're doing all this Ikea shopping and I had talked to Blake before about like how much he was wanting me to spend at Ikea because obviously he couldn't be here to help me out. I told him I wanted to stay under like right around $2,000 max, like that's about the maximum that I wanted to spend at Ikea. So we get to the cashier with our two carts full of Ikea furniture. We get to the cashier, we start checking everything out, we come to the end, and the cashier guy was like, that'll be $3,300. And we were like, whoa, that's a lot of money. But when he told me that, I was like, wow, that's a lot. I went way, like I went way overboard. But it was still like within the realm of possibilities because we had carts full of crap. Like we had, we had a bed, we had two side tables, we had a mirror, we had a dinner table, we had four chairs, we had tons of stuff. And not only did we have all of that furniture stuff, but we had all this like random, like decorative things too. So anyway, he told me the price and it was like $3,000 and I was like, oh my God, that's a lot. I hope Blake doesn't kill me and Anyway, it gets paid, we start loading everything up in the car, except something did not feel right. Like, I definitely did not think I spent $3,000, because that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money that we could use for other things. I was looking over the, the mile-long receipt, and it turns out one of the things I picked out, a vase that you put flowers in, was incorrectly rung up. It was supposed to be $1.59 or $1.99, and it rung up as $1,529. And I didn't even notice it because Ikea, when you're checking out, it doesn't even have the screen where you can see like everything being checked off the list and like the price next to it. Cause I know like a lot of grocery stores have that kind of stuff, but Ikea does not. So I didn't see everything being rung up as it was being rung up. I didn't even, I, I didn't even catch it. I went back inside and I was like, so uh, we showed her the receipt. And she, she gasped, she was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna call my manager because that is a lot of money. And so she called her manager, manager comes over and he's like, wow, that's, that's a fun one. And we got refunded $1,602, I think. I'd have to look at the receipt again to like double check that price. But yeah, we, we got refunded. I spent like about what I thought I spent, which was about $1,800. That vase, that stupid vase rang up as $1,500. Can you guys see Noelle? She's literally, <laughs> she's sitting on top of the boxes back there. I hope I'm pointing this in the right direction. She's napping on top <laughs> of the boxes. <laughs> So we decided to take a little bit of a pit stop and drive through Zion National Park because it's on the way and it looks like we're driving through a postcard. It is so pretty and we're not even into like the, the main part of it yet. Just the prettiest thing you've ever seen. Las Vegas down there. Finally made it. Well, almost. Uh, 19 minutes and I will be home. Where are we? Where are we? Here, let's get the keys. Let's get the keys. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where are we, Noel? Where are we? So we just packed, unpacked all of the cars and as if our Ikea adventure <laughs> was not complete yet. <laughs> Look at this mistake that we got. Stay, stay. Look, we got king size beds instead of queen. Oh God. Noelle, that's you. <coughs> that's you. <laughs> that's you, puppy. <laughs> She's like, who is this imposter? <laughs> this is freaky. <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen yourself before, have you? <laughs> Where did that come from? You were just sitting here all morning and you just saw the mirror. Oh, she's like, Grandma, pet me. <laughs> she's playing my hand. Pet me. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We are assembling IKEA furniture this morning, and Noelle was barking at herself, weren't you? You saw yourself in the mirror for the first time in your whole life. What'd you think about that, huh? She's like, it was pretty scary. I didn't know who that was. We put these chairs together last night. Isn't that so cool? And we got these cushions. They're a little bit small, but they're I still like them. They're nice. And um, I know, I feel like people are gonna ask like what kind of furniture we got. These are the Costby chairs. I don't know. I'll link everything in the description bar. So that way you guys, if you want this stuff, you guys can get it yourself. But these are the Melinda cushions. But these are the first things that we're assembling this morning. And we have a lot more to do. And I'm still drinking coffee and I haven't gotten dressed yet. Neither, actually neither of us have gotten dressed yet. But that is life and- it's sad. It's Saturday, so we're not gonna get dressed for a while. So I'm gonna help and we're gonna we're gonna get all of this stuff done today for the most part. Look at all this stuff we have to put together. Update as things are coming together. Noelle is like, what is going on, you guys? So we have the mirror in the corner, one chair, two chair, three chair, and there's a fourth chair that I don't know what Susan did with it. It's around here somewhere. But we also have now a sofa table. So we have like a little table that goes behind the couch so that we can put things on. A new coffee table, which was actually really easy to put together compared to the freaking nightstands. We have two nightstands upstairs, two next to the bed that were like a nightmare to put together because we put one piece upside down. It's all fixed, all taken care of. New coffee table. This um, is our old coffee table that is like full of crap, but this part actually flips up upside down and it turns into an ottoman. And I was gonna put that at the foot of our bed. I'm not sure if I wanna hang this up or continue leaning it against something when we go upstairs with it. Mm. I'm gonna put some clothes on and we're gonna get some food. And we'll see you guys soon. So update, we never showed you guys any of the stuff once it was put together. So I figured I should probably show you guys like how this all looks. So anyway, this is the living room. It's, it's, a, it's so super clean right now. This is the coffee table. Um, I don't actually remember what any of this stuff is called. So I'm gonna link everything in the description bar. If you're interested in a certain piece that you see, you can check it out yourself. So anyway, coffee table. We also went to Ross and got like a little rug that I thought would be this was Ross, right? Coffee table? Or the, not the coffee table, the yes, rug. Okay, good. This rug we got at Ross for like 40 bucks and I thought it kind of fit like right under the coffee table. So that is that. We also have a dining room, kind of, <laughs> sort of. Um, this is the one piece that I'm still like on the fence about only because I'm so used to this room being so open and now it's not anymore and I don't know how I feel about that. But um, we also have two extra chairs, which are ones right here and one right there. We have placemats. I believe these were Ross purchases as well. This was uh, a Ross purchase, I think, the face with the seahorse on it. We have that scary mirror that Noelle thought was like the scariest thing in the entire world because there was a mysterious dog in it. But you're used to it now, aren't you? Yeah, a little bit. We have this sofa table that has like an Ikea bag of stuff underneath it. 
These two end pieces are actually part of the ottoman that is upstairs. I'll show you guys that in a second. But um, this is the sofa table. We have more placemats in here and napkins as well. Pictures of us. So this is my office room. I got a desk, a bigger desk. That was the desk I was using before and I'm pretty sure it's half the size of this desk. So it was definitely time to upgrade and I'm so glad I did. Um, this is the Alex desk and I'm gonna put probably a good amount of my makeup in here because there's so much more space in it. So, so happy to have a desk of my own. And then this is Blake's office area too, which looks a lot better right now too. He got a new desk, which is kind of a, it's a corner desk and he specifically wanted it against this wall. So this wall was behind him. So that's what we did. This is also where I'm editing right now. Um, and this is the reason why I'm not in my office because Blake has a laptop I've been using his computer. His computer belongs in his room, obviously. And then the bedroom is kind of a disaster right now. This is the ottoman that was downstairs. I flipped it on top, so now we have somewhere to sit at the foot of our bed. These are the end tables that we ended up getting that were a nightmare to put together. I have like all my glasses in there. And then I also got matching like lamps also at Ross and we don't have our bed frame yet. So the deal with that is that we accidentally picked out a king size bed on accident. Blake's mom is driving back up to her home in Montana after Blake comes home and gets settled and everything like that. And she's gonna take the bed back. In the meantime, they are sending us a queen size bed. So we're just kind of waiting for that bed to show up pretty much. Then we're gonna put that together and hopefully that'll be here by like Wednesday. Blake hasn't left where he is yet. Cross your fingers, everything works out with his like coming home and everything works out smoothly. In the meantime, if you aren't already following me on Instagram and Twitter, and those links are always in the description bar as well, those places as well as Facebook are going to be where I'm updating you guys constantly about like his, not necessarily his whereabouts, but like how close he is to being home. So if you're not following me in those places already, definitely do it because that's where you're gonna know first whether or not he's home. I'm sorry this vlog has been so delayed. We've just been really, really busy trying to put all of the furniture together and then doing a ton of errands before he gets home and we still have so much to do. And last night I set up the computer and then I was missing my mouse and I needed a power strip to make all of this work. Finally got the power strip. I had to buy a mouse today, so it's just been kind of hectic getting everything all put together. I was thinking that I would go back to the regular filming schedule, like vlog schedule on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays when I'd get back to Vegas, but I think because we have so much going on and because Blake isn't home yet, I'm gonna start that schedule back up again when Blake is home. So if that's the case, then the next vlog will be the homecoming vlog, and then the vlog after that will hopefully be back to regular schedule. But of course, as always, check out the links in the description bar for social media where I will update you guys on our plans. Now I need to desperately finish editing this because it's been, it's super, super duper late. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys soon with Blake. <laughs> Have a fantastic week and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. One button though. You have like several buttons that hold your pants up, right? The most important of buttons. You're frozen.